Hey everybody, this is Ben, and welcome back to Timber and Stone. Things have been going great overnight. Um, let's see, walls looking good. I did not get too much time to work on the archer stuff I did. Whoops, extra zoom there. Uh, the stone mason hall is coming along great. What are you guys all doing? You guys are bored. Uh, I'm going to deconstruct that, and I hear a burning sound, and if I look over here, you see there's some fire, and... Actually, this is not the goblins. You can see we have a little friend right here, a necromancer. So we're going to see how this will go. I am actually considering um, letting him like see what he does to the wall, honestly. I, I have never just, whoa, a little bit of lag. I think it might be him causing the lag. Let's too many fires. Um, he's also clearing some trees out for me, which I don't mind. I have... I don't have plenty of trees to plant. Um, oh, you're going the wrong way, dude. Come around the front. So I have stationed... Uh, what's your name here? Rogue Villager. The archer. My one, my lone, somewhat trained archer. I have stationed on the tower near the gate. And now it looks like that's going to be for naught. I kind of wanted to keep him where he would not be too much in danger of getting shot by a necromancer. But let's just keep an eye on this fella for a little while. Oh, zap. He hates that stump. <laughs> All right. That's cool. That's fine. And pow. Killed that sheep. <laughs> oh, nice. These guys all just look bored. They're not even, they're not even trying. Everyone's so safe. We're all just like, look, a necromancer. <laughs> so yeah, this is one of the things that uh, next update, they are going to be re reworking the mob pathing so that it uses the new task system. And I wonder if that really is, now that I think about it, something that's impacting the lag. Having a lot of mobs on the map um, and having them using the old pathing system, which was much more like, I, I, I don't, I don't know exactly how they constructed it. You know, I'm obviously not a developer for the game, but uh, it's essentially like they had to path their entire route in a single frame. There was no way for an extremely long path to be split up among multiple frames within the game. Uh, and the new pathing system with the task system allows for that super easily. It's built in that they don't have to do anything for each different unit or unit type it, in order to to have that functionality. So it really allows, you know, to not have long processing on a single frame uh, split, you know, it splits it up instead. So that could really be what's causing the, the uh, lag troubles for me is having a fair number of mobs on the screen or rather on the map. I wonder what this guy's gonna do. He's pretty dumb. He's not even heading for the road. Going around the back here. Why do they always go this way? I wonder. Oh, I hear wolf. Oh, he's eating the sheep. I do not wish to barter. Good luck, merchant. Well, I was thinking we were going to have, like, a exciting little siege of him coming up to the gate, and you should head for the gate. Seriously, that, that should be your goal. Stupid skeletons are going to go kill the wolf, aren't they? They can't catch the wolf. What am I worried about? Well, I'm not worried, but... What am I talking about? I need to burn down some more trees. Uh, yeah. Burning trees. What a great pastime. And, oh, missed. They all hate that wolf. <laughs> Yeek up. Pow! Oh, missed. You can actually, I've, I, in a long time ago, man, this reminds me, long time ago, a good number of versions ago, I got attacked by a necromancer on night, like, three. It's ridiculous. I didn't even have my walls finished. So I had to send someone out um, to attack him. And I had developed this system whereby I was able to kind of lure the skeletons to be in his line of fire. And I would keep a skeleton between me and him. He would kill his own skeletons. <laughs> it worked out pretty well for a while. I did lose that settlement extremely quickly, however. Um, I, I think I did use that uh, same methodology on some other settlements as well, though. Uh, 
fit. It was it was very micro intensive. It was like having to dodge and try to pos position myself, drag the skeletons into the right position, and watch for his casting animation. Yeah, fun times, fun times. All right, he seems to be completely stuck. So rogue villager here, I'm going to just say stay idle. And I am going to see how you do, man. Come on, come on down. You can pad there, right? Yeah, there's, I mean, you know, the, the whole walkway's not done yet. Oh, jeez, he's going around the back. Well, that's why I've got this archer. I'm going to see if you can just take all of these guys out. How many arrows do you have anyway? 19? Ugh, that's not great. Why do you only have 19? How many are you supposed to maintain? 20? Uh, all right. Up that a bit. Yep, spotted. Excellent. Okay, you come on to... Oh, God, you can do that for every single one. Come over here. If I see him about to cast, I might manually retreat this guy. I don't want to lose him. Yep, skeletal infantry. Necromancer. That's what I'm talking about. Great. Who are you shooting at? No, you're an idiot. Hold position. Don't move. You're not going anywhere. He's too much of an idiot to stand still and get shot by the necromancer. No, don't run. This foe is beyond any of us. <laughs> oh, he's f afraid. That's his problem. I don't want you to go out there, you idiot. He's running. All right. Well, at least he spotted him. So now I can tell people to charge that guy. How many people come on the charge? Three? All right. I'm actually going to tell Brunhilde to do the same. Yeah. So where did he go now? Rogue Villager. Get back over here. Get your butt over here. You Reinforcements are coming. I'm going to take this guy out. He's going to... He's moving his way around into my, my forestry section here. I, I don't really want to lose all my trees. Villager? Oh, there he is. He's right on the other side of the wall from this guy. Our numbers are too few! <laughs> Retreat! Oh, oh no! Retreat! Oh. All right, here we go. Charge this enemy. Yes. Oh, don't shoot your own person. Dead. So so dead. Yeah, there you go. Get those guys. Good idea. Necromancer dead. There's one. Oh, there was a zero. That's another zero. Oh, look at that. Military precision. Oh, yes. Very nice. All right. Good work, you guys. Good work. Oh, all right. I'm going to set you back to standard guard position. So you're on the tower here. I think that'll work out uh, nicely. Let's see. Yeah, right there. Except, no, that's... Remove that military guard guard positions. I'm gonna put you like on that thing. <laughs> Not infantry. Great. All right. If I could somehow get these goblins now without the hassle of no one spotted these guys, huh? Ah well. Oh, how about you? No? Okay. Well, that takes care of that necromancer. That is, again, in the next patch that I have seen several devs talk about, that's gonna not be so easy. That was that was way, way too easy. Um, so, stone, stone mason guild area looking good. Um, let's figure out some archery. Let's do that. So, I need to have, like... I don't know if it needs to be a building, or there needs to be a wall, or a moat, or something. Probably a wall, I guess. Let's see here. Construction, flooring. 
Let's just say cobblestone gray. That's gray. Okay, I guess. Paystone gray. I'll go with that. So let's see here. I'm gonna set this up so they're shooting like this direction. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see, how high can these people reach? They can reach, I wonder if I can just like make a platform for each thing to be on and that would in itself pretty much eliminate the risk. So if I did like that. Grass. Let's fill in some grass. There we go. Goblin. Yes. Great. Charge. I want to get rid of these guys. Here they come. Resources. Ah! Dead. Gather resources. Great. Glad to see those guys finally showing up. Where are my builders? Oh, I'm not in fast forward here. Let's go fast forward. They walk super slow if you're not in fast forwarding. There they come. Look at that. All three of them. Great. You go, guys. So then we're going to build um, objects archery target does it only need like one block technically put it there okay construction flooring pavestone gray I don't want to look stupid either though do that. Always needs to be like you designate a spot for the archers to stand. Okay, they're gonna build that. Who's my engineer? Engineer, Sonaris Tinker. What are you doing? Straw? Is that your target needs straw? Some wood? Yeah, yeah, fine, fine, fine. Get down here. Let's see, uh, let's see if he can build that. I think he might be able to stand back here and reach. I'm not totally sure, but we're gonna find out. Well, it's an episode of learning. Learning about reaches and stuff like that. Where'd he go? Are you kidding me? He's just running in circles. What is wrong with you, man? Get your butt down here. Sleeping? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Fact... Waiting in hall. Okay, so no, you cannot build that. Uh, so we're gonna put some pavestone gray. I'm gonna put whoa, whoa, whoa. Put it right here. Everybody's gonna build that little block. Okay, great. Now, Sonaris Tinker, running in circles. What are you doing? Waiting in hall. Building archery target, gathering required items. Great, great. Got the hay. There he goes. What? Okay, no, he's just confused. Cool, he made it. Very good, so this, this looks like it will work as far as an archer. Oh wow, you stand like in it. Why are you doing that? All right. OK, 
Okay, you are getting a change of orders. Train using archery targets. No, don't, don't do that. Oh, he moved. Okay. Is that, is that you, rogue? Rogue villager? Uh, yeah, apparently. Jeez. Get your butt over here. Shoot this chicken! <laughs> How's that for an archery target? No, 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 no. What are you doing? Are you sleeping? Eating! Of course. Jeez. Uh, all right, let's let's just send you to bed. All right, we'll come back to that. We uh, maybe we'll have to pick someone else to train in archery. Let's see how things. Uh, oh, Bork, Bork, you can be an archer. Go, be archery. Train. Maintain an inventory. Uh, no, uh, low quality arrows. I'll just say twenty, and. Bow. Just bow? That's all I can say? Alright, fine. Bow. Sounds good. Bork! Time to train. You're not... Oh, you are. You're, like... Dying of fatigue. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, well, that's not gonna happen today. I can tell you that. Let's finish the roof on the stonemason... Uh, stonemason guild, or whatever I'm calling it. Okay, construction. Mm-hmm. Let's say wall, umber brick. Put that there. Okay, so if that goes up, and that goes down, and that goes down, then we'll have one across there. I guess that'll be okay. Walls roofing, ceramic roof. Whoop. Bring that one down, great. Uh, so then the only thing is I need Walls, umber brick. Another one. All right, builders, get on up there. trying to do like a double peak thing and it was gonna come out perfect and then I had to make this whole building a one block wider so now it's not gonna come out perfect so I'm gonna have to have like a flat strip in the middle or something it's probably what I'll end up doing not too worried about it it'll be fine uh, roofing ceramic roof so now I just grab this one and go across to there and that one go across to there. Boop. Right, right. Very good. And then we go back to the walls. Grab my umber brick. Grab it. Let's do that. And then delete that one. There we go. Done. As soon as they build it. Who are you? Oh, you're a stonemason. Why are you on the roof? <laughs> uh pathing. Get your butt down. There we go. Okay, great. Don't you need to go, like, make brick or something? Tongs, hammer, yeah. You should be doing that. All right. Oh, nice. Look at that little... Yeah, that's great. That'll do. That'll do. 
It's not it's not as perfect as I was hoping, but it'll totally it'll it'll serve. Um Oh great, goblin. That's all I like to see. Cobblestone no, sorry, not uh pavestone brown. That's what I like that's what I wanna see. And there and there. Great. Grass goes there. Beautiful. It's coming along. All right. Uh, let's take care of this goblin. And then I'm going to call it an episode. Charge! What are you doing? <laughs> Attacking goblin marauder. Oh my gosh. Seriously? You're an idiot. You're an idiot. You're an idiot! Get your butt upstairs. Oh gosh. <sighs> wow. This is why I don't like archers, okay? Everyone's been saying, you should get archers, you should get archers. Yeah, they are stupid. Like, intensely stupid. <sighs> Anyway, nobody died, so that's good. <laughs> it, it wasn't a sure thing, though. Jeez, you guys. Ugh. Anyway, it is dusk, so that means the video is getting too dark for everyone to see. Uh, the stonemason hall will be done by the next episode. And uh, we'll see if we can't get this idiot archer to train at some point. I don't even know where he went. I told him to go to the tower. I might give up entirely on archers and just go back to just, just be infantry. Everybody get a sword and armor. It's very straightforward. They know how to use a sword. Even the guy you train on the bow is still running off to be it's like, they're like, like I needed, they're like, they're trying to be point blank range before they take a shot at the, the goblin and stuff. So I'm about to give up on him, but we'll keep going. We'll see if we can get some people to stick around in the towers. Maybe the, maybe with the guard position. Let's actually set you to, wait a minute. Where are you? Why are you standing next to that bed? That isn't your bed. Why would you even go there? I wonder if that's some kind of weird bug. Plenty of beds open up here. Well, a couple of beds open. Having the good quality beds has helped. And also, of course, building more houses and stuff. So, actually, the stonemasons are going to need some houses out here. So maybe that'll be another thing we'll conquer next. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'm so glad you're enjoying the Timber and Stone. I'm enjoying playing it, as always. It's a great, relaxing, fun city-building, you know, simulator. So... I hope you all will stick around and I'll see you in the next episode.